The G20 and the G7 are international forums consisting of the world's major economies. Both groups play a significant role in global economic governance and decision-making, but they differ in terms of membership and focus. The G7 was initially formed in 1975 as the G6, consisting of the United States, Japan, Germany, France, the United Kingdom, and Italy. Canada joined in 1976, and since then, the group has been known as the G7. Russia was also a part of this group at 1998 that time it was known as G8, after Russia captured Crimea in 2014. Russia was kicked out of the group. The G7 meetings primarily focus on economic and financial issues, as well as political matters. These meetings provide an opportunity for the leaders of these countries to discuss and coordinate their policies, address global challenges, and promote economic stability and growth. On the other hand, the G20 was established in 1999 in response to the Asian financial crisis. It includes the G7 countries plus emerging economies such as Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, Australia, South Korea, Turkey, Mexico, Indonesia, Argentina, and Saudi Arabia. The G20 represents around 85% of global economic output and two-thirds of the world's population. The G20 meetings cover a broader range of topics, including finance, trade, climate change, development, and global governance. It aims to promote international cooperation and coordination on economic and financial issues among both developed and developing countries. The G20 presidency rotates annually among its member states. The presidency is responsible for setting the agenda, organizing meetings, and facilitating discussions and negotiations. The presidency also represents the group in international forums, such as the United Nations and World Trade Organization, and engages with non-member countries and organizations. The presidency works closely with the host country's government to ensure the smooth functioning of the meetings and the implementation of agreed-upon commitments. The G20 presidency plays a crucial role in shaping the global economic agenda and driving international cooperation. The presidency has the power to prioritize specific topics for discussion, propose initiatives, and facilitate consensus among member states. The host country typically organizes various events, forums, and working group meetings throughout the year to engage stakeholders, gather input, and ensure inclusive decision-making. In summary, the G20 and G7 are important international forums that bring together major economies to address global economic challenges. While the G7 focuses on economic and political issues among seven advanced economies, the G20 includes both developed and emerging economies, aiming for broader global economic cooperation. The G20 presidency is responsible for leading the group's meetings, setting the agenda, and facilitating consensus among member states. The formation of the G20 and G7 can be traced back to different historical events and the changing global economic landscape. The primary purpose of the G7 was to facilitate dialogue and cooperation among the world's major industrialized democracies. It served as a platform for leaders to discuss economic policies, global challenges, and coordinate efforts on various issues. The G7 meetings were held annually, and the discussions focused on economic growth, trade, finance, and other global concerns. G20. The G20, also known as the Group of 20, was established in 1999 in response to the financial crisis in Asia. Initially, it was a meeting of finance ministers and central bank governors from the world's 19 largest economies, including the G7 countries, plus emerging economies like China, India, Brazil, and others. After the 2008 global financial crisis, the G20 was elevated to a summit-level forum for heads of state and government. The G20 aimed to bring together major economies from all regions of the world to address global economic issues and coordinate policies. The G20 recognized that emerging economies had become significant players in the global economy and needed to have a seat at the table when discussing global economic governance. The expanded membership of the G20 allowed for more inclusive and representative discussions on global economic matters. The G20 meetings, held annually, cover a wide range of topics including economic growth, trade, financial regulation, climate change, and development. The G20 has become an essential forum for international cooperation and policy coordination, 
particularly during times of economic uncertainty or crises. In summary, the G7 was formed in the 1970s to bring together major industrialized democracies. While the G20 emerged in the late 1990s to include emerging economies and provide a more inclusive platform for discussing global economic issues. Both groups continue to play important roles in shaping global economic policies and addressing global challenges.